time to go. Everybody ready to go? Yeah! Yeah, we're going someplace special. We're going, we're going camping! Camping, hey honey! Yeah. Woo! Coastal and the pouring down rain. Yep. A lot of traffic. Yep. Slow going. Uh, hopefully it'll be worthwhile this weekend though. Hopefully. The destination is on your left. 9102 Coast Guard Road. Arrived. Yep, there's that camp, the thing. Yeah, I told night. you. This one too. Yeah. Resort office. Well, we made it. It is the Holiday Travel Park. I have no idea where our spot is, so we shall see. Was it 26 G or something? Oh How you doing? I think we're 26 G. 26. Cool. Okay. Pull right behind him. I have some nice places there. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've been here for about an hour now, and as you can see, I'm all wet and in my rain jacket. Here we have. The truck over there in the tent parking, and these are the camp, the overflow tent sites. As you can see, my tent site is literally from edge to edge. And here's the Taj Mahal. Here is our golf cart for the weekend. Um, but they want everything to fit in this, so we're gonna have to do some tweaking. Well, it's our first morning. Cooking some delicious scrambled eggs. The girls are eager to have some delicious breakfast. There's the wifey. We had a tremendous downpour all last night and yesterday. We uh, made it through just fine. I actually had to get out the stakes for the rain fly. I don't normally put those up unless it's real bad. The wind was uh, pretty bad, but uh, we made it. First morning. Yes, if you're wondering, my wife was a trooper on this trip. She was 36 weeks pregnant, so kudos to her. The Holiday Travel Park is located right up against the sand dunes on Emerald Isle. And right at the back of the park has two beach accesses with golf cart parking, which is awesome. Hey girls, what do you got? I got me. Tell me what you got. What is that? This, um... There's more down here, but we're Which one you got? Uh, um, this one. Rinse them off. Rinse them off. Rinse them off so we can see. Alright, what is it called? What's his name? Um, they're all in. Are those sand fleas? Yeah, sand fleas. Yeah. <laughs> Eating pizza! Yes! Yeah. And, and I saw you. 
In normal fashion, when having young kids and tent camping, you normally get up pretty early, normally at the crack of dawn. Uh, so this is me. I was actually making my way over to the bathhouse to go to the bathroom. And I decided to just do some quick uh, shots of the park, uh, the campground. As you can see, there was no other people awake, maybe a couple other people at the most. Um, it does have pretty good quiet hours as far as uh, tent camping. Here's the bathhouse. Um, both sides, the men's and the women's, are exactly the same, just obviously facing a different way. Uh, they do have a handicap stall. Um, and the interior has been redone in the past couple years. Very nice. It used to not look like this. Um, here I am right there. Um, it does have, each of them have three showers. I believe it has three stalls, bathroom-wise. There are a total of two of these buildings in the campground. One closer to the front, one closer to the back. Um, hot water, uh, did never seem like they ran out of hot water. Um, obviously if you want more privacy, just go during not normal showering hours. Uh, you know, normally in, in the morning time or at night, you go midday, you'll be the only person in there most likely. Um, each place has a wash station, rinse off, a camp, a little playground for the kids. My kids definitely uh, enjoyed that. Uh, this is the only restaurant that we actually drove uh, in our in my truck to get to very famous place you guys have to check this out it's called Amos Mosquitoes um, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what time you get there there's gonna be a wait because that's how good the food is so check out these shots um, they have here's the waiting area uh, they got cornhole boards uh, a bunch of fun stuff to do they have like a dock and like a sitting area and parking is definitely hard to come by in this particular area but here's some delicious food Chowder, uh, delicious, everything. We got here before it started, but every Saturday night during the summer months, they have live music. A big selling point to this campground is the gorgeous pool they have. Uh, they redid it in the past couple years to have the little splash pad area with the little uh, water buckets. Um, during midday on the weekends, uh, it is packed, but we went uh, nine o'clock. 9 a.m. and it was just a few people there which is the best time in my opinion to go. Look who's driving the golf cart. Woo! Woo! You guys like your mommy driving? Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's fun, huh? Not nice bad. and yeah, nice and slow. Yeah. Woo. If it's for the park, I can actually record it. This is a little hidden gem. I do apologize ahead of time. I'm not gonna actually give away the location of this dock. It is a public access dock. However, um, the locals covered this dock because it's one of the only public accesses to the intercoastal uh, close to the campground. Uh, at night, it has amazing uh, sunsets and the dock is packed. And like I said, the locals, uh, they saw me recording uh, a few years back before this video was made. And they said, you know, they, they, they try to keep it a secret because they don't want it to be overpopulated. But it is a gorgeous, well-maintained dock. You can fish off of it. Uh, you can swim off the end. Uh, you can dock your boat up on it. Um, I did do some, we drove there for a sunset. Um, my wife and daughters uh, were able to go out and watch the sunset, but it took me a few extra minutes to set up the drone and I actually missed the perfect sunset, but I did get some decent night footage anyway.
On this trip, we wanted to go and visit the Cape Lookout Lighthouse. That's something me and the wife had never done before, and obviously the girls haven't either. Uh, we decided to go to Harker's Island. Uh, the visitor center is there, and you can actually take a person ferry across to Cape Lookout. And that's what we did. The girls had a blast. Um, we had the whole ferry to ourselves going out uh, because the time of the day we were out there was like midday. Um, on the way back though, it was packed because we were on one of the last ferries back. Um, you can stay overnight, you can camp out there. Uh, they do they do rent um, side-by-sides out of this area, so you can ride those along all the beach and area and stuff. Uh, if you have a personal boat, you can drive right on up to it and uh, you know, get on the beach that way. Um, the, the visitor center on the island is gorgeous. There's an older couple that actually lives there. Um, they, they're the caretakers of it. Here we are, Cape Lookout, North Carolina. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there is not a soul, except for a couple random people here for miles. Here is the lighthouse. And then obviously this way, there is not a soul. And here are the girls. And we have got a good little selection of shells to pick from down here. We even found a shark tooth. On our way back home from this great camping trip, we decided to go to Beaufort, and uh, the restaurant we like to go to is called Finn's. Um, it's a reasonably priced seafood place right on the water. At the back, they have outside seating and a balcony, and this particular trip, my girl spotted some dolphins playing behind, so that was a great, uh, great thing that we had to uh, bide our time wait for our food. If you guys drive down the main street in Beaufort, um, there is some beautiful housing, uh, all old, old built houses, some new. Uh, just a gorgeous drive uh, before we headed home. <laughs> 